Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison here to tell you Geico has more than just great savings. Much more. Yes, while Geico could help you rack up more moolah faster than you can say metamorphosis, they've also been the fastest growing auto insurer for more than 10 years. That's more like it. Furthermore, Geico has fast and friendly claim service. That might seem like an oxymoron, but it's not. All the more reason to say no other auto insurer has more more than Geico. Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Funding for this program, Muddy Boots, presented on the other side, was received from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and KVMR. For info, contact, and archives, please check out muddybootsradio.org. Welcome to the other side, a place where daydreams and nightmares mix together to create a fantasy world full of lions, tigers, and bears. Relax and let your mind float downstream, crossing boundaries you never knew existed. Once you've tasted this forbidden fruit, you'll find it hard to resist the temptation to want to tune in each and every week. That's the other side, a place you can only find on Tuesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. on KVMR. I don't suppose you recorded any of those baboon sounds. Yes, of course I did. Why? I'd like very much to hear them. Of course. So at the count of three, make your favorite animal noise. Ready? One, two, three. How can a centipede control a hundred legs at once? Because it doesn't think about it. Welcome to The Other Side. My name is Putty Tat Tanelli, presenting part three of The Wandering Menagerie, a show to celebrate the animal kingdom. This go-around will be a slight nod to our adorable, pedantic friend, the cat. The playlist will encompass a colony of music highlighting several eras and styles. Also included will be a few readings from Lorraine Daston and Greg Mittman's excellent book, Thinking with Animals, New Perspectives on Anthropomorphism. I was turned on to the book from a blog post on brain pickings by Maria Popova. She writes, We think in metaphors. They are our bridge of meaning between the familiar and the unfamiliar. Anthropomorphism the tendency to project human qualities onto non-human beings and objects is perhaps the most common of all metaphorical modes. In our earliest conscious experiences, we are surrounded by toy animals and immersed in children's books rife with animal characters. In fact, cognitive scientists now know that the development of metaphorical thinking in children 
is what gives rise to the imagination. So imagining animals as ourselves and projecting ourselves onto animals is a developmental achievement for the human mind. But using animals as a mode of clarifying the human experience is something that permeates every stage of life and every epoch of our civilization. From ancient creation myths to Aesop's fables, to Orwell's allegorical masterwork, Animal Farm, to Lolcat, an image macro of one or more cats you find on the internet. Of note, originally the word anthropomorphism referred to the attribution of human form to gods, and in some instances was forbidden by several religions as blasphemous. Strange world, this. Let's begin with a poem, which, of course, incorporates the animal as metaphor. Written by my cat, Bindi, entitled, The Parable of the G. Williger Hunter. Look see with a parable of a life unstable. Attune your snooze to the jungle news. When the going gets tough, tough. Be gone with that busy frown, leaveth with crocodile. Sneers like booze, buried in swamp blues. When cometh a warm smile, smile. Clean the spots, oh dear leopard. Rumble anew your purr. Your buzz abounds while you lie around. You turn a shrug into a hug, hug. Coyotes grin through the sin. They pierce any sort of drawl. Serious is a choice, many give it a voice. Yet ascends a dusty laugh, laugh. beetle devoured one day, and the little black mud splats now tenderly wave o'er the little black beetle bug's black little grave. Ka, ka, one little story that the crow told me, ka, ka, in a hickory tree. Do not worry if I scurry from the tall trees in a hurry, dropping hastily my story and retiring into dark. Do not let it cause you wonder if, by some mischance or blunder, we encounter on the catacombs and I flutter by and talk. Ka, ka, one little story that the crow told me. Ka, ka, in a hickory tree. If crows gather by light to see, by wayward shimmers scanned, I'd like to know, can you tell me, just where would crow's feet stand? Ka. Ka, one little story that the crow told me. Ka, ka, in a hickory tree. Now if you will listen, I'll sing you a song. It's so full funny, but it won't last long. All about a crow in a hickory tree. One little story. My gal taken sick well the other day And the doctor said she's gonna pass away I got her a car and said that the dry goods store She better shave now when she was before Fun a little story that a crow told me In a hickory tree Hey, hey. Fun little story that a crow told me hey, hey. in a hickory.
cherry tree. On a cold winter night, well, I thought I'd freeze. The old white cow, she froze her knee, sneezed so hard that she called the crew for tail, got to skip and she couldn't stoop. One little story that a crow told me in a hickory tree. between a cat and a comma. Well, a cat has claws at the end of its paws. And a comma has a paws at the end of its claws. <coughs> <coughs> Stop the hooligans from causing panic in the island. The only thing to stop these hooligans from causing panic in the island. Well, I hope that the government um, see they need another kind of punishment. Um, I say one thing to cool down this crime is to bring back the old time cat and nine. Um, so the old time cat and nine bring it back and they're going to change their mind. Send them career with lips like fire and they're bound to surrender. And in the days of Judge Gilchrist, as you know, nothing never happened so. Any man pass under his hand can tell you of the rod of correction. He used to treat them meek and mild Well, he never spared the rod to spoil the child I say one thing to cool down this crime Is to lash them with the old-time cat and nine So the old-time cat and I Keep them bad and they bound to change their mind It's to send them career away It's like fire and they bound to Working harder and harder to see this thing go no further. Every night they on duty to save gathers from violence and robbery. But they wouldn't stop at all. Peter is going to pay for Paul. I say one thing to cool down this crime is to bring back the old time cat and nine. So the old time cat and nine lash them hard and they're bound to change their mind. Them carry away, it's like fire and they bound to surrender. And every night they walk in about in a band singing this song called Robust Man. Have you heard it? I'm a robust man. Don't ask so a fool be dashy. The judge and jury can settle this thing easily. So the cat is the only time bun to drop and this robustness would stop. Bun. So the old time cat and I beat them bad and they bound to change their mind. If you send them career away, it's like fire and they bound to surrender.
What was that? The wolf shouted. E flat, said the pig, and man, it's your chorus. Fall in. And fall in the wolf did. Down the chimney and into the boiling pot. The little pig clapped the cover on the pot and let it simmer for 48 over a low flame. When at last he lifted the cover, he smiled broadly. Ah, he said, my favorite soup. Cream of nowhere. And now he's going to call Hog. There is a moral as well as intellectual element to critiques of anthropomorphism. On this view, to imagine that animals think like humans or to cast animals in human roles is a form of self-centered narcissism. One looks outward to the world and sees only one's reflection mirrored therein. Considered from a moral standpoint, anthropomorphism sometimes seems dangerously allied to anthropocentrism. Humans project their own thoughts and feelings onto other animal species because they egotistically believe themselves to be the center of the universe. But anthropomorphism and anthropocentrism can just as easily tug in opposite directions. For example, the Judeo-Christian tradition that humans were the pinnacle of creation also encouraged claims that humans, being endowed by God with reason and immortal souls, were superior to and qualitatively different from animals. In this theological context, it made no sense to try to think with soulless animals. <laughs> Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built 
built the ark, brother Noah built the ark. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Down in the barnyard, on my knees, I thought I heard a rooster sneeze. He sneezed so loud with a whooping cough. He sneezed his head and his tail both off. Now who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. There was a doctor by the name of Peck. He fell into the well and he broke his neck. The surgeon right caused the fall of his own. He should have tended to the sick and let the well alone. Now who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Come on, brother, this is true. Let us join to that heavenly crew. Lord done been here, paid the fare. Gwine to ride up in the middle of the air. Didn't know Noah build the ark. He built it out of a hickory bark. Animals coming in one by one. Cow chewing on a caraway bun. Animals coming in two by two. Riding horses and a kangaroo. Animals coming in three by three, bear, bat, and a bumblebee. Animals coming in four by four, no holler, go shut that door. Animals coming in five by five, thus the animals did arrive. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb. Six by six, the hyena laughed at the monkey's trick. Animals coming in seven by seven, said the yank to the elephant, who's your seven? Animals coming in eight by eight, no holler, go shut that gate. Animals coming in nine by nine, one giraffe laying way behind. Animals coming in ten by ten, a bow-legged rooster and a knock-kneed hen. Animals coming in eleven by eleven, Come on, children, let's go to heaven. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Cuidado. 
cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito. Así como usted me ve, vamos, yo tengo mi periquito. No me diga. Así como usted me ve, ¿Qué pasó? yo tengo mi periquito. No me diga. Porque usted es su gallinita, esas sí son para usted. Cuidadito con pay gallo. Cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito. Cuando el periquito vio que la cosa iba de vera, cuando el periquito vio que la cosa iba de vera, al gallo le dijo espera, para que usted se equivocó. Cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito, cuidadito con pay gallo, cuidadito. Yo vine de Portugal, por mi gracia me compraron. Yo vine de Portugal, por mi gracia me compraron. Periquito real, dame la patica para Portugal. Curruta, curruta, hasta la puerta está. Y esta gracia con pay gallo no me acaban de gustar. When all the animals lie down, got it right, Gus? Gus had this rag around his head and was digging at the dirt. He'd been digging 15 minutes. I'm getting it, said Gus. We were sitting on the side of a hill watching the 5.30 p.m. traffic on the Pasadena freeway. Gus was trying to get those round spots in the ground for hip and shoulder. What do you guys do when it rains, I asked. Well, we got a sheet or two of plywood in the brush, said Larry. Either that or we go to the mission. Gus tried the holes. They were all right. I wish I was a mole in the ground. Yes, I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I'd root that mountain down and I wish I was a mole in the ground. The Tempe wants a nine dollar show. Yes, Tempe wants a nine dollar show. When I come over the hill with a forty dollar bill, tis baby, where you been so long? I've been in the bin so long Yes, I've been in the bin so long I've been in the bin with the rough and rowdy men till Baby, where you been so long? Find a railroad man, they'll kill you when he can. 
drink em your blood like wine. Oh, I wish I was a lizard in the spring. Yes, I wish I was a lizard in the spring. Was a lizard in the spring. I'd hear my darling sing, and I wish I was a lizard in the spring. Oh, Tempe, let your hair roll down. Tempe, let your hair roll down. Let your hair. Let your hair roll down. I wish I was a mole in the ground. Yes, I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I'd root that mountain down. And I wish I was a mole in the ground. What else you need? Yeah, I, how about if I get you a, uh, a crow that can talk? And I'll teach them phrases that I say. Good morning, honey. But it'll be a little crow talking.
is this? Who is this here? Sneaking around. Sneaking around my bed. Who is this? Who is this cat? What's this cat doing? What's this cat doing? What's this cat doing? the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest parlor that ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I have many curious things to show you when you are there.
I'm going to New Orleans to get this Toby fixed up mine. I am having trouble, trouble. I can't keep from crying. You got it, you got it. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, handle him carefully. Handle him carefully. Um, um. Марица устана, 
fighting for the crown. The lion beat the unicorn all around the town. Some gave them white bread, and some gave them brown. Some gave them plum cake, and drummed them out of town. We are animals. We think with animals. What could be more natural? The children's section of every bookstore overflows with stories about animal heroes and villains. Cartoons and animated feature films show the adventures of Bambi, Mickey Mouse, and the Roadrunner to rapt audiences. From Aristotle to Darwin down to the present, naturalists have credited bees with monarchies, ants with honesty, and lions with bravery. This lion can say, oh, lady, what this lion can say. The lion looked round, he started to cry, oh, he started to cry. Said, this man punched me and he blackened my eye, oh, lady, 
can you blacken my eye? The people got angry, they started to shout. Ole! Blind said that's what I was talking about. Ole! to the other side. This here a special Muddy Boots production presenting The Wandering Menagerie Part 3, a show highlighting the animal kingdom through sound, snippet, and song. My name is Tiger Cat Tanali. Thanks for tuning in. Allow me to grab my cat, grab my goat, clear the worms from my throat, and seal my fate by informing a mew what we've heard thus far. So way back hen, we started off with The Carolina Buddies, the story that the crow told me. Then we heard Lord Invader with Old Time Catanine. Arthur Smith Trio with Pig at Home in the Pen. Four Wanderers, Animals Coming In. Trio Matamoros with Cuya Dadito Compay Gallo. Then we heard Boscom Lamar Lunsford with I Wish I Was a Mole in the Ground. Then we heard Guangzhou Cantonese Opera Troupe with The Crow Flies Back to the Forest. And that's found on the Victrola Favorites compilation. Then we heard the Carter Family with Kitty Waltz. Memphis Jug Band with Spider's Nest Blues. Boris Mashalov with Precious Little Lamb. And that is found on the Song of the Crooked Dance early Bulgarian recordings released some time ago on the Yazoo record label. And finally we heard C.W. Stone King with Talkin' Lion Blues. And tossed in the playlist are some random whimsical readings by the adorable Lilith, Le Fay, and Bindi the Snow Leopard. <laughs> Stay tuned, the second set will unfold in a wee bit.
Napa guy knows more isn't always better. Unless we're talking about full-size vans. These beasts do more than get you from A to B. They have so much space a man can live in it. With shag carpeting, water bed, and a sweet lava lamp, these mobile abodes have all the comforts of home. With quality parts and plenty of Napa know-how, you can keep the original tiny house running longer, stronger. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Life is full of big moments. Getting married, having kids, moving into a new home. These are the kind of moments that change everything. And they might have you making changes to things you don't always think about, like your health coverage. Covered California wants you to know that when you have a big life change, you may be able to enroll in health coverage or adjust your current plan. The enrollment window is limited, so to see if you qualify or to find one of our local experts, visit CoveredCA.com today. Covered California. It's more than just health care. It's life care.